right, so in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to take our knowledge of greatest common factor, which is GCF, and least common multiple, which is LCM, and we're going to apply them to word problems. Now, the hardest part of this process is not trying to figure out how to solve the word problem um, using GCF and LCM, but the hardest part is to, is to determine which type of problem do you have. Do you have a greatest common factor problem or do you have a least common multiple problem? And so I'm going to show you some strategies how to do that. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and start off by looking at GCF problems. So with GCF problems, you're going to look for um, the word problem to use the word greatest. You're going to look for the word problem to use the word most or using the word largest. Now, sometimes these words will not be present in the word problem. And so another hint that you can go with is, is, that, is the problem asking you to sort something into groups, into rows, or into sections. And that will give you um, sort of a heads up, hey, this is a GCF problem. Now on the other hand, we can look at LCM word problems. So instead of using the words greatest, most, and largest, you might look for the words least or smallest. Now, sometimes those words won't be there, and so what you're going to do is you're going to look for um, the word problem asking you how often an event repeats. These are going to be the key to solving these word problems. Remember that this word greatest, most, and largest goes back to the G in GCF, which is greatest, and this least and smallest goes back to the L in LCM for least. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first example. Mr. Rodriguez is organizing his classroom supplies for students into baskets. So already we're organizing something into baskets, which gives me a hint it's going to be GCF. He has 49 markers, and I like to kind of circle that, 35 rulers, and 42 glue sticks. What is the greatest number of baskets, bas baskets Mr. Rodriguez can make by using all the supplies? Here's that keyword greatest. How many of each supply will there be per basket? So I have determined that because we're organizing something into baskets and it uses the word greatest, I am doing a GCF problem. And so now all I need to do is take the numbers in the problem and find the GCF. So I have 49, I have 35, and I have 42. And then remember that I need my multiply column. Okay. So just like we saw of GCF every other time, I'm going to do a factor tree. So this is going to be 7 and 7. This is going to be 5 and 7. This is going to be 2 and 21. And remember, it's OK if you break yours up differently as long as you end up with the same prime factors. And this is going to be 3 and 7. OK? Now I need to find where my matches are. So it looks like I have a 7 in each column. So I'm going to bring it over here. And I have another 7 here, but no other matches. I have a 5 here, but no other matches. And a 2 and a 3 here, but no other matches. So I have determined that my GCF is 7. So how many baskets is he going to make? He's going to make 7 baskets. But the question does not stop there. Now it wants to know, OK, I have 7 baskets. How many of these items are going to be in each basket? This is a lot easier than you think. You're going to take the GCF and divide it back into each number. So seven goes into 49, which is the markers, by the way, how many times? 7. That GCF 7 goes into 35 rulers how many times? 5, because 5 times 7 is 35. And the GCF 7 goes into 42 glue sticks how many times? 6. And so this right here is your complete answer. All right, let's look at example number 2. Hot dogs come in packs of 8. Rolls come in packs of 12. What is the least, there's my keyword, number of packs of each Sean should buy to have enough to serve 24 people and have none left over? 
So this is an interesting problem because this number right here, 24, it, go, it went ahead and told me what the LCM is. It's telling me that she needs to serve 30, or sorry, 24 people. And so how many times does eight, I'm sorry, um, packs of eight go into 24? It goes in three times. How many do packs of, uh, packs of 12 rolls go into 24? It goes in two times. And so that actually went ahead and completed the problem. Sometimes the problem gives you enough information. And by the way, had it not given us the LCM, this would have been an LCM problem. All right, let's look at example number three. The local recreation center held a scavenger hunt. There were 15 boys and nine girls. The group was divided into the greatest, there's that word, number of teams possible with the same number of boys on each team and the same number of girls and the same number of girls. How many teams were made if each person was on a team? So this is telling me this word greatest right here and I'm dividing into teams, into groups, that this is going to be a GCF problem. So I need to find the GCF of 15 and 9 and I'm going to make myself a multiply column here as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make my factor trees. So this is going to be 3 and 5. This is going to be 3 and 3. Okay. So now it looks like I have threes that match, and so I'm going to bring one over, and I have no other matches. So my GCF is that they can create three teams, but now they want to know how many boys and how many girls on each team. So take that GCF and divide it back into each number. So how many times does three go into 15 boys? Five times. How many times does three go into nine girls? three times. So there's going to be three teams and each team is going to have five boys and three girls. All right, you go ahead and try this one and then um, we will check our answer. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and um, pause the video. Let's go ahead and go over it. So this was another LCM problem, and this time as well, it went ahead and it gave us the LCM. And the LCM in this case was 40. She told us that she needs to invite 40 people. And what the problem was trying to figure out is how many of each type of supply does she need for these invitations. So what I did is I took the invitations of packs of eight and I divided it into 40 where I got five. Then I took the stamps that come in sheets of 10 and I divided it into 40 and I got four. And so that was the end of that problem. Go ahead and try this problem right here and then we'll go over it.
All right, if you're not done solving this problem, go ahead and pause the video so you can continue showing your work. So this is a GCF example. Um, I know that because the word greatest is used in the word problem. So what I did is I found my numbers in the word problem and I found the GCF of 24, 16, and 32. I got that the GCF was 8. Remember that you can go take a look at my factor trees, but yours may not be exactly identical to mine. However, you should have ended up with the same prime factors. So if our GCF is 8, now I know that I need 8 arrangements of balloons or that I can make 8 arrangements of balloons but the question is how many different um, or how many balloons of each color are in the arrangement so I took 8 and I divided it into 32 blue and I got 4 I took 8 and divided it into 24 yellow I got 3 and I took 8 and divided it into 16 white and I got 2 all right, that is the end of this lesson. We will do a lot of practice with GCM and LCM, or sorry, GCF and LCM word problems, but feel free to ask me questions in class.